<laughs> no, it's rough, but that's all we had seemed like rocky ground. I bet that's all we grew with rocks. You know what's funny? I remember every year, every spring, Dad dragged that down, we'd haul them rock out of there, and you'd think it'd be perfect. Then the next year when he turned ground, they had just as many rock come back up, didn't it? They never disappeared. <laughs> I believe it did. Yeah, the growth growth rocks like tasers, I believe. <laughs> what are you eating? A sausage biscuit? If you got egg on it? Sausage oh, and eggs and biscuit. Oh my goodness. That come from Hardy's? No, I reckon Lisa maybe. Oh, that's home cooked. It didn't come out of the bag then, did it? <laughs> Well, you're pretty lucky fella. You got these daughters here cooking for you every day. I wish yeah. I, I wish I had me six daughters, a different one every day, come cook something for me. That's nice, ain't it? Yeah, one a day. One a day. <laughs> you got it made. <laughs> you're spoiled rotten, I believe. Is what's wrong? You think you might be spoiled a little bit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine with these daughters taking care of you like they do. Go. What are you doing? You looking at your videos on there? Trying to get it to play. You're trying to play another one? Yeah. You got a bunch of comments on there from uh, the one I posted this morning. That's talking about your uh, little Debbie cherry pies that we filmed when we was up here last time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody, I guess they sell little Debbies in about every state. I thought they was just kind of uh, here in East Tennessee, but we got comments everywhere on there. Did you see them? Mm -hmm. Here, let me show you. I think we can look at it right there. It's just, there you go. There's, uh, there's probably over a hundred comments on there already this morning about them little Debbie uh, cherry pies and stuff. So we got quite a few people that posted on there already. You may have to read them to me. Want me to read some of them to you? What was the name of this door? Val Gully. Val Gully. It Dow. looked like it was Val? Dow. Dow. Oh, okay. Val Gully. You remember it being open, Lisa? Yeah. Barely. Yeah. So they uh, just a general store and sold a little bit of everything? Yeah. Tell him about the phone, Daddy. Huh? Tell him about the phone. Used to be people down in Greasy Holler used to have to come here if they wanted to call out on the phone. Oh, really? Right here was the closest phone. Oh, wow. That's quite a distance from Greasy Holler. Yeah. What years was, was that when you was growing up as a kid? Or? Yeah. 
Do you know what union's got phones down in Greasy Holler? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to think on that a while. You have to think, yeah. Well, so they have to come all the way. That's six or eight miles, I guess, from Greasy Holler. Oh, yeah, further than that, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a neat old store, looks like. We've drove by it a few times, but we've never stopped. We've got a chauffeur today. we got Lisa driving for yeah, us. Yeah, that so. used to be a busy store right there. It looks like it was. It was. There was a lot of customers there. Well, let's go find another one. You ready? They all got it. That's, I guess they're all dead now. Yeah, maybe so. I like them old stores like that. That's a neat one. Was this, a, this used to be a store, looks like. Yeah. They used to buy eggs and chicken and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, yeah. My took daddy it. used to bring chickens and eggs and all that kind of stuff. If you're buzzing, they'd buy it in the store, bring it up here to sell. Oh, they would buy it from people that brought it in to sold it to them down there in Greasy Holler? Yeah. And they'd resell it up here? Yeah. Okay. That's a, something we didn't know about. So he was wholesaling stuff out of the holler then, wasn't he? Yeah. I guess he brought it out here for people that didn't have a vehicle. It was junk butter. They called it junk butter. Oh, yeah? Why is that? <clears throat> well, they just pour it out in the lard can, they'd bring it there to sale, dump it down that lard can, they got ready to take it off, bring it up here and set it. And they even have bugs in it or something. <laughs> I don't know what they done with it. It was leftover butter where they made it and it just wasn't the regular run of it or something? Yeah. Of course, they sold good butter. Some people did, they just, needed to get rid of it and they'd set it just like for junk butter. So if somebody brought in a bucket of butter, they might not have got a whole lot of money for it though, would they? No. Times was hard if you had to go sell your butter, wasn't it? Yeah. So do you remember your dad uh, bringing the stuff up here and selling it at that store? Did you oh come, yeah, yeah. Did you come with him? Yeah. Well, I know you said your dad didn't start driving until he was about up in his 40s. Was that when he might have come? When he started driving? Yeah, he... Most of my life, he drove. Right. But I remember when he didn't drive. Yeah, we, we, we were up here in the fall, the lake was down. Yeah, down, they said. It was down lower than that, wasn't it? We sat below that. Yeah, I think we were. I think we were down there on the bank. So, you would close on Tuesdays and come fishing a lot? Was that your fishing day? Yeah. Yeah. Magdalene go with you? Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. Sometimes she didn't. Sometimes I didn't go on Tuesday. Lisa said she went with you quite a few times. Yeah. Was this your favorite fish, fishing spot here in Earl, Earl's Holler? Is that where you mostly come to? No, I fished all the way up through here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Where's the best place to catch fish at up here? 
I don't know right down there is a good place. Oh, okay, yeah. That's Earl Vaughn. Well, tell him about you and mom getting up early on Tuesdays. And yeah. How early would you get up to go fishing? Four daylight? Oh, yeah, about four daylight. Yeah. Are they bite better early in the morning? I don't know. We just went so we could be down there when it was time to fish. You just wanted, you just wanted to go so you get up early so you just get there and spend the day, huh? Yeah. I seen something pop off of my ear, but yes, it was. You might have popped a butt. I don't know something, where it I think went a button to. popped off. Oh. Something jumped off of him. Yeah, it was a button, I guess. Yep. Yeah, right there. Well, you reckon one of them girls would sew it back on? I guess. We can find it. Yeah, I'll have to look for it and I'll get out. And it'll be hard to find <coughs> that, and I think it fell down the seat. <coughs> Need a bath. Your car might need a bath. Mm -hmm. Well, most of them do. <laughs> We've been out to the lake and in the gravel roads and mud and everything in it. I got it. And there's houses that go that way and houses that go that way. There's about four or five on up that way and one or two over the other road. About where are you at? Just getting out riding around on it. Yeah. Time you get yeah, walked by. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good to get out and walk a little bit. And yeah. 
get some fresh air and yeah oh you you got a flare needing some water out here yeah yep which one is it well somebody's brought you some petunias maybe i don't know yeah there's for four pots out there ain't there? four petunias yeah I would look for that seat first. I'll look for one. I'll look in it when I go up. It's in my car. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go home, okay? Okay. And I'll see you Sunday. Okay. Mm, I love you. Love you, Lisa. Well, there's JoJo. Yeah, I just got it. I'm going to just have a seat first before you leave. I'm going. I guess it's... Next shift coming in here, huh? She's seen us pass up there, yes. She come see what we got into, didn't she? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think I'm going to go home, too, and let what's you rest. You, what's your hurry? Well. <clears throat> I can't rest no better when you're gone. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> well, I've got some things i got to go <clears throat> do a little bit of. Okay. But next week, I'll be back. I got something next week I got in mind for us to do here out here. We don't have to go nowhere. We're going to bring something for us to play with. Okay. I'll bring us a, something to piddle with. I got a present coming in for you. Something I think you might want for your birthday. Okay. Your birthday's coming up next month, so I thought I'd go ahead and get you something for your birthday. 22nd of June. Yep, It'll be one full year. I've been filming you for a year. We've been making videos for a year next month, June 22nd. Yeah, on your birthday. From birthday to birthday, one year. That's pretty good. Yeah. Been documenting the life and times of Ralph Robertson from Greasy Holler. <laughs> and people yeah. like it. They like seeing it. They like seeing the. They do like it. They do. They like hearing about the old times and. Hearing you tell your stories and I like seeing me and you get out and find something to get into, you know. We got out today. Well, you'll have a lot today, won't you? Well, I hope. We got some pretty footage of the Powell Valley, didn't we? All up here in Claiborne County. All around the ridges. Actually, we've been back in them ridges and everywhere. Oh, yeah. We had a good day. Good day. It's always a good day when you get out and ride been around. Been down to Earl Fowler. Yeah, yeah. That's twice we've been there now, ain't it? So, but uh, I'm going to get ready to go home. And I'll holler back at you later in the week or first of the week. And uh, we got some more things to do next time. I used to go up there at Earl's Holler in my boat all the time. I know it. Fish up there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe one day we'll I've get... caught a lot of fish up in there. Oh, yeah. I bet you have. Yeah. They say it's good fishing up there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Earl's Holler was a good place to be. Yep. Well, you'll tell everybody bye in the video. We've never done that before. What? You'll tell everybody goodbye. Bye. <laughs> say see y'all. Say we'll see y'all next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs>